summer break and there's no better way to celebrate than going on a giant thrift. So I'm gonna be sharing out my first summer thrift haul with you guys. I spent a total of $68.74, so I had fun. I am Kathy with Waste Not Upcycled and I have a Poshmark closet. I did not do any thrifting for clothes today. I did all hardware which is gonna go into my two booths that are local in Lake County, Illinois. Um, and I also sell on Etsy uh, crayons, just crayons on Etsy. So let me get started. I, it is summertime, so I went ahead and found, oh, today was yellow day, by the way. So first Tuesday of every month is when they switch their colors and that color item is half price off. So I typically look for yellow was the half price item. So this basket, Fourth of July basket was a yellow item. It was five dollars, so two fifty is what I ended up paying for it. I'm gonna go ahead and upcycle this top, no big deal. And then I also found kind of a blanket to go along, so I'll sell this as a set. I thought it was super cute, and that was three dollars. shopping I look to recoup um, as reseller about four times what I'm gonna make that's my goal for profiting obviously anything more is better um, but if I can make four times that amount then it's definitely worth it this next item I'm debating if I'm gonna keep it or not super different um, so it's logs and they're very 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 heavy that have candle holders so I could put um, just either inside with like candles that obviously I'm not gonna light or we have a really cute fire pit outside so I'm debating it's either gonna go into my booth or I may hold on to this one another fun summer item that I got this chunky bird So I'm thinking I'm gonna repaint this one, either white, gray, something like that. Um, this I paid $3 for. Um, I'm definitely a sucker for wood and metal and these super cute wooden bowls were only a dollar each. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and paint these um, white, restress, or distress them. And then uh, I'll actually keep these in my booth. I'll sell them, but I'll also hold my crayons that I make inside of them. Sets of different kinds of crayons that I could put in there. Um, one of my favorite finds: old, chunky. It's a juicer. I'm gonna knock everything down. Okay. So this was really fun. This is an old juicer. I'll definitely be able to it. This one was only. $3. Super old, super rusty and crusty. $3, very heavy. Thought that would be cute. I definitely want to do her old kitchen stuff. One of the things that I found that's like my dream to find a real one, this is not a real one, but I had to get it. I'm still hoping to find a kitchen um, scale in the wild. A real one, but this one is just kind of a mock one. Decent weight. But it's also a clock, which I thought was cute. And this one I paid only three bucks for. So it'll definitely be a cute display. And surprisingly, I'm obsessed with rolling pins and I refrain myself from buying those, so that's good. Uh, when I'm out and I go into the mug aisle, I definitely only purchase, except for my haul that I got on Facebook, like a lot of radons, um, but I typically only purchase pottery mugs. Those go pretty quickly. And this one, usually their mugs are two or a dollar. This one was two. That was cute, and it's definitely handmade. Shows that. And made in '91. Pretty cute. Let's go quick. Okay, and this tray is another tray that I had gotten. This is definitely an older one, and you can tell by the way that one meets together. So it's older, I thought it was pretty cool with the cord. This is the cord in here, so it'll look fun displayed. This was another, oh, this was three bucks. Not bad. Heavy duty, I do not, I don't think I'll do anything with this one. I don't think I need to. 
Um, it's just a matter of how I display it. Um, like I said, I'm obsessed with trays, so I have a couple more here. This one was super cool. I'm torn if I should, it's very heavy. I'm torn if I should, let me know in the comments if I should sand this out and just have it plain, dark stained. The reason being, I feel like the Give Thanks is really cute and it's great, but I feel like it kind of limits it to Thanksgiving. I mean, maybe, maybe not. But like I said, it is super heavy. I think it has to do with these. These handles are metal, like very heavy metal. Very cute. Definitely a great serving tray. This one I paid five, which is high for me, but it's definitely, I'll recoup that. That's a, that's a great find. I'm excited about that one. Um, on to signs. So, signs go really quickly for me, so I like to stock up on those. This is a wooden sign, and this one I think I'm gonna keep as is, but I'm gonna, it's pretty clean for me. I think I'm gonna probably sand it up a little bit, make it a little rougher. This one I paid $1.50, can't beat that. So it's a yellow tag, and it already has all the hardware. Sometimes I buy these just for the wood to create my own signs. Um, it's even better if I don't have to make anything, but it can go either way. I thought this one was super cute. I loved the frame. Cute one. And this too was $1.50. It's a smaller, cute. These two signs, are not a typical buy. Well, I guess it would be. But these are kind of like a beachy, this way. I like the frame, that chunky white that's already distressed. And it's hard to tell, but it has like, I'm obsessed with gray. Gray is my color, gray and blue in it. So these were $1.50, yeah, $1.50. And the sticker on it retailed at 20 each. So I got two of these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them together or... This is a fun one. I'm definitely gonna rough this up. I'm gonna keep the bakery part of it. I really like that, but it, it definitely needs some work around the edges. So I'll rough it up and make it look older and more fun. Um, this one I got for three bucks. So it already has a hardware on it. And then this chunky mirror right here. I'm definitely gonna paint that either white or gray. That's typically the colors I usually do. Very nice. It was me almost. Um, three dollars is what I paid for that. I'll rough that up a little bit. Um, another sign. This one I am keeping. This is going in my Poshmark work area. I thought it was cute for a dollar. I like that one. Small, little. I'll just stick it by my where I do all my packaging. And more kitchen items. These I love because they're rusty and crusty. Super cute measuring. They were only two bucks. Oh, three. I lied. These were three dollars. But definitely heavy and well worth it. Super cute for either display or to actually use. I'm always looking for holiday stuff. I did not get a lot this time, but I do look for it. And like I said, I do sell a lot of like shelf sitters and wooden stuff. So this was a homemade, super cute joy for a dollar. It's a shelf sitter. For all that winter. And again, I love trays. This is a holiday tray. Both metal and wood, my favorite. This is metal. It's a nice tray, it was only a dollar. I think that. Decent size. And then for fall, I thought this was unique. I'm definitely gonna add some kind of cricket sign or something on it. This was a dollar. Yellow tag. I like the paper bag. I think I'll probably rough this up somehow. A little different. 
And then I'm always looking for like little shelf sitters. This was like two bucks to put on my candelabras. And another, it's a wooden and metal. It's a little cute display. This was a dollar. I think I'll keep it as is probably. And a globe. I thought this was super cute. It says, it's a great big world, but such a cute side. Such a cute willow. And then this was $2.50, but I'm a sucker for this tag, and the tag said that it was um, $35. So that I'll recoup. And this is something new that I've never purchased, but I've seen a lot of fun ideas for using these um, patterns, whether it's like decoration or like using it as decor. Uh, wrapping gifts with, um, wrapping up my packages for crayons and different things like that. So this was 50 cents. I can't wait to kind of tear it open and see what the patterns look like. Um, see how they are. I don't want to like destroy anything that could be used, but I will definitely use this in a creative way. And then this was just like a vintage memory thing, this sun art paper. I remember as a child putting this out in the sun, this paper, putting items on it, letting the sun hit it all day, and then it'll create a really cool display. So that was kind of, I don't know, like I'm gonna check it out and see how the, how the artsy prints turn out for now. And as the crayon lady, the only time I really buy crayons, I like to use upcycled crayons that have, um, you know, I typically buy them on, eBay or in Goodwill or garage sales, like school's the best, kids who are classrooms that are getting rid of them. Anyone who's getting rid of crayons, I take them and I upcycle the crayons. That's probably one of my, my favorite things to do. So I buy them at Goodwill only when they're decent price. So these were a dollar. And then I'm not a glitter person, but I am gonna try to add even more shimmer to some of my crayons. Um, other silly things this is just my self just throw some of my crayon products and then this is my one thing that I'm unsure if it was a good buy or not this was only a dollar but yeah it's just a metal and then I'm just gonna have to fix these guys make them so there's three in the middle very heavy Thanks for watching. If there's anything you're interested in, be sure to DM me and I could shoot a price over to you right away.